Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah, back again, day number four, Hinge Day. I got a lot of great feedback from yesterday's Sport Flex workout. A lot of you guys realize you're not very flexible. When we're not flexible, we cannot fully express our strength through the full range of motion, definitely not in a safe manner. Everything we do is about safety, safety first, establishing a base of health which will allow us to push our sports performance much farther down the road. So remember, safety first and safety comes protecting the integrity of our physical being. We're really going to focus on lots of flexibility work. We're going to focus on improving range of motion through the full strength curve. And also, we're going to try and bulletproof these joints, all the soft tissue here. Very important. Remember, go talk to your doctor. Do not start this or any diet or exercise program without the direct supervision and approval of your doctor. Physical exercise can cause injury or even death. Take this very seriously. Those of you who have received the doctor approval, it's hinge day. What is hinge day? Let me tell you, what does the human body do? The human body does a few basic things. We push, we pull, we squat, we hinge, and then we rotate or uh, we resist rotation. Those are the five basic movements of the human body we push we pull we squat we hinge we rotate slash anti-rotate you think about that everything in life becomes a heck of a lot easier and when we do this we focus on multi-joint compound movements today we're focusing on the hinge hinging at the waist right here hinging at the waist very important and i'm going to show you why it's important while Speeding up the metabolism so we can burn body fat and get motherfucking sexy, right? Nothing wrong with being sexy and feeling good. Nothing wrong with that, guys and gals out there. We're going to be building this. This, 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 this. Booties, baby. Get that booty popping. Boom. Nice, firm, round, like two big old basketballs just stuffed inside your jeans. Guys, don't get it twisted. Ladies love a dude with a nice ass. Ladies, you know guys just go gaga for a girl who's really packed into those Lululemon tights. Also, the glutes, I'm joking here. The glutes, these are the primary movers for all athletic performance. The hips, this hip region here, this is everything. This is where all the power, all the explosion comes from. It all comes from this area, what we call the posterior chain. We're going to be focusing on that posterior chain. Lower lumbar for sure, glutes definitely, and hamstrings. That's the primary focus. We're also going to be focused on that lower abdominal floor, the hip flexors, the glutes. You can't work any individual mus muscle in a vacuum. You shouldn't. Why? Unless you're you're some bodybuilder, you're Flex Lewis, you're Fuad Abiyad, you're, you're Nick Tragili, whoever it might be. If you're one of those dudes, fine. Isolate, whatever. Do your thing. But that's not us. We are here to be fit. We are here to fucking be sexy. <laughs> we are here to feel awesome. We're here to live our lives in 360 degrees. And unfortunately, the isolation specialists, they're really not equipped to do that. And... That's, that's, you're on the wrong channel. That's what you're looking for. So anyway, hinge day. You ready? I think you're ready. Let's get warm real quick. What I want you to do right now is I just want you bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Now, while we're bouncing, you'll notice right here, I got two gallons of, of water sitting on the floor. What's that water for, Dolce? This is my weights today. I wanted to show you how easy it is. Keep bouncing, keep moving, and bouncing in place. I want those arms moving now, legs and arms. I'm on the balls of my feet. Heels are off the floor the whole time. Bouncing nice and easy. We're going to get this heart rate up as I'm talking. So bounce and talk. Bounce and listen. This is my weighted implement. If you have dumbbells, if you have kettlebells, if you have sandbags, if you have med balls, awesome. Bring it. Have it available. But I want to show you, everybody out there, $2 worth of of, of water sitting on the floor. This is gonna be the only thing I worked out with today. So if you have that, great. If you don't have anything, don't worry about it. Follow along, do all the motions with me. I guarantee you will feel it. You will feel it. If you can add some resistance, that's awesome. Now here, loose, breathing, wide stance, breathing deep. Exhale. 
There we go. One more high to the sky, tippy toes. Up here, stay with me, stay with me. Whoa, stay with me, stay with me. That's okay. Now we're going to go here. We're going to go down to the floor in between our feet. Whoa, fell off balance here. I was thinking. Again, up high. Now watch. Pockets to the wall behind me on the way down. Touch the floor. Right back up. Breathing in. Pockets to the wall. Just like this, just like this. Touch the floor. Again, we're going to do two more. There we go. Coming up high. One. And here we go. Back up, back up, back up, back up. And down to the floor. All the way to the floor. Here. And back to a bounce. On this bounce, I want you to start switching your hips. Right? Pointing at the, the right wall, left wall. Right wall, left wall. Right wall, left wall. Just like this. Switch those hips. Breathing. Look at the arms. Arms are moving too. Feel my heart rate. Heart rate's getting up. How about you? That heart rate's starting to spike. Good. Now we're getting warm. We're almost ready. Slow it down here. Shoulder rolls. How do we do the shoulder rolls? Pinch my shoulders forward here. Up, around, back, down. Bring them back forward here. Up, around, back, down. Forward. Contract. When I contract, boom. Pet contract. Up, trap, 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 down and around. Couple more. And now opposite way. Back, up, over, down. Back, up, over, down. One more. Back, up, over, down. Bounce it out. Get loose. Breathing. Almost there. Almost ready. Almost ready. Well, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> now, arms high right here. We're going to sweep the floor. Here, down, and up. Breathing up. Again. And up. Keep going. Just like that. And up. Pockets to the wall. That's right. One more. All the way up. Now, first exercise. Let me slide this out of the way so you can see. We're actually going to lay on our back. We're going to focus on our core first. Before we go back side, we're going to focus front side. First thing I want you to do, ah, down to the floor. It's early here. It's uh, about 20 after 5 in the morning right now. 5.20 a.m. I'm here. Are you here? I'm going to go to sleep real quick. All right, I'm awake. I'm awake. Here we go. All right, first thing I want, elbows on the ground, right? This is my solid base. Hands on the stomach so I can connect with my abs. Now what I'm going to do, chin to the chest, like I'm rolling up a carpet, chin to the chest, and I'm gonna keep rolling till my shoulder blades come off the floor. As my shoulder blades come off the floor, can you feel this? Those David muscles right here? I can feel this huge contraction right here. I'm gonna hold this contraction and breathe. Three, two, one. Shoulder blades down, chin down, head down. That was one, ready? Let's go. Chin, shoulder blades, squeeze. Two, one, and all the way back down. Up, chin, shoulders, two, one. Down, I really want you to squeeze into your lower belt line. And up, three, two, one, down. Now, we did this yesterday or the day before, you know this. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, right here. I want this position, relative 90 degrees. Again, chin to the chest, shoulder blades up off the ground. I'm right here in this position. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten this left leg just above the floor and bring it back. Straighten my right leg and bring it back. My chin's to the chest, my shoulder blades are off the ground the whole time. Straighten, up, straighten, up, straighten, up, straighten, up, couple more, straighten, up, ooh, it's burning, straighten, up, stay up, shoulder blades don't touch, come on now, straighten, up, straighten, up, one more each, straighten, up, straighten, up, there we go, how you feel, feel those abs right here, those David muscles, I call them, the chicks dig those muscles, right? Where it kind of carves in here and it carves 
down into that area. That has a very nice aesthetic view, but at the same time, <coughs> excuse me, powerful muscle group right there to really protect us, to protect that lower back, the lower lumbar region, to make sure that when you lean over to pick up your, your, your pick up the, the, the milk off the floor, tie your shoelace, oh, my back, my back. You see those older people walking around like this? Weak abdominal floor. We're not gonna let that happen, right? No, 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 no. All right, now. Let's get our weights. You got our weights? Weights in hand. Here's my weights right here. Going to the grocery store. We're going to, going to Gainesville, actually. That's where I'm going. So what we're going to do, very simple. This is going to be a modified Romanian deadlift. Romanian deadlift, we start standing. Traditional deadlift, we start with the weight on the floor. Starting standing. Now, in this position, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Keeping my, remember the shoulders? Roll them in, up, and back into this position. I'm gonna keep them right here in this back position. Now, picturing, picture me sliding a piece of paper under the balls of your feet, right? What's that gonna do? It's gonna make me sit back on my heels, falling backwards just a little bit. That's a good thing. Weights back onto the heels, shifting that weight to our posterior chain. Now in this position, I'm gonna push my pockets to the wall. And I'm gonna try and keep my chest up the whole time as I keep pushing my pockets back. See that? As I'm pushing it back, what happens to my torso? My torso naturally starts to bend. Even though I'm trying to keep my chest up the whole time, pushing my pockets backwards makes my torso come down. And what are we doing? We're lengthening those hamstrings. All the way down, pushing back, pushing back. Now I'm letting my hands, letting these weights slowly slide down my shins until it touches the top of my shoe. Slight pause, and really think about your glute muscle right now. Stay in this position with me, but look, this right here. In this position, this bottom position right here, this glute muscle is fully stretched. In this stretched position, what I wanna do is I wanna think about that good stretch, and I wanna contract. I want that glute muscle from here to here to start to contract and shorten, and that's going to raise me back up again. All right, let's do that again. Pushing back. Down and up. Again. Three. We're doing ten. Four. Five. So you can see my foot distance. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. Weights down. Shake it out, how you feel? Feel good, feels all right, good. Systems check, how does everything feel? How do my shoulders feel? How's my back feel? How do my hips feel? How do my knees feel? How do my ankles feel? Everything's good? We're good, you gotta call your doctor? No, good, good. Docs still want you to work out? All right, let's keep going. Now, here's a little pro tip. What the glutes also do, the glutes rotate. They rotate the legs outwards. So, as we're going down, I don't want my knees to pinch in. A lot of your knees pinch in. You might have noticed that already. What we want is as I'm going down, I'm rotating my knees outwards on the way down. Like there's a band. We've all seen those hip circles. We've all seen those little plastic bands the girls with the big butts use, right? That's what we want to do. That's what they're doing. They're rotating their, their knees outwards. And what that's doing, that's because the glute, the glute controls that. So I'm rotating these outwards on my way down, getting maximum glute activation here. Knees go outwards all the way on the way down, and I can feel that stretch already. It's awesome. All the way down, and then we come right back to the top. We ready? Let's get our weights. All right, same thing here. Slow on the way down, slow and controlled. Again, torso, shoulder position. We're locked in, we're starting in good position. Set. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Good. Four. And glutes, squeeze them at the top. Five. Six. Seven. Shoulders back. Look at me. Eight. Nine. And ten. Next pro tip. On the way up. When we get up, we do this. Boom, here. 
we don't do this. Yeah, we don't over bend. A lot of people, you see people deadlift. They deadlift like this. Eh, terrible. They're going to blow out their backs. They're going to be in a wheelchair by the time they're 40. So what we do, we go here, and I say deadlift, stand up as if you're standing up, slamming your back into a wall. Boom. That's the way I want to be. Fully upright, and I'm squeezing. I don't know if you can see. Squeezing the musculature of your back at the top because those muscles are also working and supporting. We want to squeeze that at the top also, contracting those glutes, contracting the lower back, contracting the ham hamstrings. Everything works at the same time. Last set here, doubles. Are you ready? Now, follow me because I'm going to slow that countdown a little bit on the way up and on the way down. So stick with me here. You'll understand what I mean. Keep watching. Keep watching. Are we ready? Position here, locked in. Slowly, it's gonna be a three count on the way down. And I want you to rotate those knees outwards. Contract those glutes, ready? Go, three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Push those pockets back. Three, two, one, and up. Sliding the paper under the front of your toes, right? And up. Here we go. More. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. We'll go. Three more. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. Let's go. One more here. Three, two, one, and up. Perfect. How you feel? Give me a little bounce. Bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. Keep that heart rate up. Let's burn some fat. Keeping that heart rate elevated, we're gonna get some peaks and valleys. That is going to help us burn and metabolize, oxidize body fat. Breathing deeply. Now we're gonna change it up a little bit. Weights are gonna stay on the floor. Are you ready? Same stance right here with me. Pick up that pace a little bit. Follow along. You with me? You with me? You ready? We're warm now. Come on, let's go. Good position, rocking back onto the heels, grabbing the weight, and up, boom, down, dead stop. 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 Tightness, tight, tight. I'm tight everywhere, tight everywhere. Everything's tight. I don't get weak at the bottom. I get strong at the bottom. Up, boom, here we go, three more. One, two, three. Down, relax, short break, shake it out. You feel that different. It's different, right? I want that dead stop at the bottom. Overcome gravity at the bottom. That's what we're doing. It's not just building tension, right? That's what we did Romanian style. Now we're overcoming gravity at the bottom. Ready? Same thing, doing 10. Right here, leaving the weights on the floor. Down. Tight, 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 tight. Shifting back, weights on my heels, toes are up off the ground, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Weights down, bounce it out, breathe. How you feel, you all right? Keep bouncing, keep bouncing, keep bouncing. Doing good, doing good. It's my hair look, hair's okay, okay, good, I like it, I like it. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Just one. If you got no weight, no problem. Picture, pretend that you do. Just one. What we're gonna do, we're gonna opposite side. Left hand, right leg. Left leg is gonna come up off the floor. I'm gonna change angle so you can see that. What does this mean? Don't worry so much about the kickback. I just want this leg to come off the floor and kick behind you. Here and up. Light touch, see that? This is just for balance here. I'm not dead stopping. Light touching. Unilateral single leg deadlift. Let me do it from this angle. Ready? And I'm gonna put this, touch this in front of my toes. So, left side, right side. Left side weight is gonna touch in front of right side toes. Here, one, here, 
two. You ready? We're gonna do 10 this side, then 10 the other side. I'll switch, I'll keep moving. But count with me, ready? Let's go. Light touch. One. Two. Three. Good. Four, rotate that knee out. Right knee out, five. Six. Keep going, seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, switch sides right away. Ready, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four, good. Glute, squeeze, five. Six. Seven, almost. Eight. Nine, balance. And 10. How's that feel? Pretty good, right? Really feel that. Really feel that in the glutes, and that's a good thing. All right, same thing, opposite side. Left hand, right leg, post leg. Dead stop at the bottom, slight pause. Follow me, I'll say down, touch it, and when I say up, we go up. We're gonna do five here, ready? Keep tight, and at the bottom, I want you to rotate out. Rotate out, even if it's a very small, imperceptible motion, you'll feel the contraction. Ready? Here we go. Down. Up. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Whoa. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Good. Switch it. Opposite side. Ready? Let's go. One. Down. Hold it. Hold it. Two, down, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and up, three, here we go, down, whoop, four, again, down, and five. Put this down briefly, relax, how you feel? Feel good, little blood flow, heart's racing, I'm sweating, early morning sweat, early morning sweat, feel good. We're almost done, workout's almost over, but not quite, come here, now. Grab your implement. If you don't have one, don't worry. We're gonna do a little bit of a, a water jump swing, kettlebell swing, dumbbell swing, whatever. Grab your baby if you have one, don't matter. So right here, that kind of A-frame position we use, this is gonna be a very natural position for us. In this position, think about here, rotate those knees out just a little bit. Holding. See, I'm holding my wrist with my right hand, holding my gallon with my left, simple. In this position, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick my pockets backwards and let this swing naturally. And I want this to swing back. See that? Pass me. One, two, three. Let's go. Four, five, come on. Six, squeeze, squeeze, stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze, glutes, stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Keep going. One. Two, come on, three, four, keep going, five, squeeze, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, feels good, switch hands now, heart rate's pumping, that's what we want, switch hands, same thing, get ready, let's go, remember, swing it, so I look down, look forward, look down, look forward, look down, look forward, that's it, stretch, Squeeze, stretch, squeeze, good, keep going. Shh, shh, exhale at the top. Shh, good. Shh, nice, keep it going. Shh, a little bit more. Shh, squeeze, 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 couple more. One, two, and three, perfect. Light bounce, light bounce, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, we're gonna, finish with a modified glute slash core exercise. I love this one. Very simple in concept. Ooh, it's a motherfucker. Pardon my language. Pardon my language, kids. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about triple rotation of the hip. Triple rotation of the pelvis right here. What is triple rotation? It is going one, two, three, right? If you put your hands on your glutes, the top of your pocket. Do you mind if I, I get a little crass here for a second? I don't want to be, but 
the top of your ass muscle right here, that, that shelf, right? I wanna put my hand on the top of that shelf right here. And I wanna stand up, see? Actually, push your pockets back just a little bit. You can feel them stretch. Now, as I stand up to neutral position, you can feel kind of the sides contract. But if I push my hips forward just a little bit, you can feel the top contract. Now what I want you to do, I want left hand on top of your left glute. Right leg, let me show you the right leg. What the right leg is simply gonna do is you're gonna step back with the right leg and you're gonna bring the right leg knee up to waist height, okay? All you're gonna do, but you're gonna feel this glute, watch. Here, bring it up to knee height and feel that glute squeeze. And as it squeezes, give it a little bit of a push. Hold this right here, we're working the core also, and bring it back, that's one. And slowly, up, squeeze, that's two. And at the top, you have to mentally engage and squeeze the top of the shelf. Now what's happening here? Let me explain that to you. When we stand up straight, our hip comes into neutral, right? Back here, negative, neutral, positive. Back in, a lot of people walk around like this, uh, negatively rotated, posterior rotation. Some of us can actually walk straight up. When we're straight up, this is good, this is fine, but this is neutral. What we want is anterior rotation through this exercise, and you get that anterior rotation when you lift the opposite knee. So when I lift the knee, what happens here, if this is my pelvis, as I am negative, neutral, and I lift that knee, positive. That knee lift goes positive, and this glute must contract. So you see a lot of the, the Zumba, the workout ladies, and they're, they're doing this, they're doing this, they're doing this stuff. You see the, the Muay Thai guys, and they're throwing this. That's glute, that's glute. People don't think like that. Or like, you see the high box step ups, and you see these workout people, they do the high box step up, and they throw these ugly, sloppy momentum knees. They're wasting it, wasting it. If I'm in Muay Thai class working with Dwayne Ludwig, then I'm throwing a proper knee. If I'm in the gym training for fitness, I'm not worried about that. I'm just focused on triple rotation of my hips maximally activating these muscles. So, right here, remember, step back and bring it to waist height. Ooh, good, good squeeze, good glute squeeze. One, and squeeze, two, squeeze, three, squeeze, four, squeeze, five. Switch sides. Picture this mental connection here, ready? Opposite side, step back. Come here, let me come here for you. Step back and go. One. Two, good, squeeze, just waist height, squeeze, three, two more, four, five. When I do this, I keep my hand here. So when I lift that knee, I'm actually pushing down, Ugh, pushing down, which is also forcing my abdominal wall to contract. Because if you put your hands right here and lift, you can feel your abs working also, working posterior, working anterior. All right, a couple more, and we'll finish off. Ready? Here. One, two, three, four, five. Down and switch. One, two, three, four, five. Now, everybody on their backs, quick. On our backs, right here, right away. So, bottom leg straight, top leg bent. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push, same side, left leg, left arm. Left hand is gonna push left knee down. I'm gonna try to push it, push it, push it. Staying contracted here, right? Right leg is gonna, one, two, ah, three. Right elbow on the floor, right hand on the stomach. Four, five, keeping it up and switch. Right here, you got this? Left elbow on the ground, left hand on our stomach. Right hand pushing this knee, trying to push it down, it's a fight. Right knee is trying to go all the way to my shoulder blade. It's a fight right here. Constant uh, tension on this side of my abs. And here we go. One, two, 
three, chin to the chest, shoulder blades off, four, five, switch, come on, one, two, three, four, make this hard, five, and switch, come on, one, two, uh, three, my shoulder blades haven't touched, four, how about you, five, last one, come on, shoulder blades don't touch, one, Two, three, ah, burning. Four, five, switch. One, two, three, four, and five. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How you feel? I feel good. I feel worked out. I feel worked out, guys and gals. Thank you. It's time to go to work. Everybody's got to go. Get the kids up. You got to shower that stinky body. Woo! That's good sweat, though. I want you to hydrate today. A lot, a lot, a lot of water today. Extra water today. A lot of water today. No sodas. No, no fruity, crappy processed beverages today. Please, please. What are you going to eat today? Let's plan our meals. You should know right now. What are you going to eat today? I'm going to have oats. I'm going to have berries. I'm going to have nuts. I'm gonna have seeds. That's gonna be my breakfast. I'm gonna have the breakfast bowl. Breakfast bowl, right out of here. Tons and tons and tons of water. I'm gonna have a, a few espressos on the side. I'm gonna make sure I subscribe to the 20 Minute Fitness Network. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you, I appreciate that. Bang, bang, bang. Give this video a thumbs up. If you did this workout, say I did it. Did it, Dolce. How do you feel today? Who's sore? Who's sore from Monday, from Tuesday? That's it? Today's Wednesday? What's today? Give me another date. Monday, Tuesday. Man, I feel like I did so many more workouts already. We did, didn't we? We did. Oh, this is Thursday. This is I don't even know the days, people. I mean, we did Monday, legs on fire. We did chest on fire. We did sport flex. And then here, I don't even know what we're calling this. We're calling this hinge. We're calling this hinge flex or butt on fire. Glutes on fire. I think we're calling this glutes on fire. Glutes on fire, baby. That's what this was today. And I hope your glutes are on fire all day. When you wake up tomorrow morning or Saturday and you're like, ooh, think of me. And uh, I will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, ready to go. Get a good night's sleep, everybody. Thank you so much. Kick ass today. Until next time. Boom.